What's going on everyone? Juicebags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. It is about that time. I've been talking about it for a few days, and I have just gone past the point of needing to use Ancient Power again. I was planning on climbing Onslaught floors, but of course then we got the announcement that Onslaught is going to be changing and the three map floors are going to be going. Now, we don't know when that's going to come. It might be in two weeks. It might be in a month. We, we just have no idea. So I decided rather than to push the three map floors right now, I would go ahead and focus a little bit on ancient power. Now, my goal in this onslaught push was to get to the point where I had enough starting ascension where I was going to be collecting enough of the ascension caps on each particular reset to make sure I was at the caps of 999 by the time I made it to ancient power 50. Now I went way overboard. I actually, you know, I went to floor 257. Um, I'm to the point now where I'm going to be at 999 by like 40 or 41. So I went a little bit overboard on my goal there and stretched it out some. However, I want to get that ancient power flowing start collecting those AP weapons, and then be ready to go for the Onslaught push once it goes to the one map floors. Uh, one map floors, of course, is going to mean just a super climb, and I'm hoping to actually be at the 999 Ascension Caps by the time I get to that point. Now this time around, I'm at Ascension 1620, and I made it to floor 257, so I'm going to be gaining the 5% gold, the plus 5% XP, but then plus 224 to my talent caps and plus 363 to my minimum ascension level. So that's going to put me in a real good spot as far as minimum ascension goes. And just naturally progressing up, I'll be able to get to those talent caps very, very quickly. So without further ado, let's make it happen. See Mana Node to gain Ancient Power. So first thing you would have to do is run over and talk to the Mana Node in town. Now, I am going to be doing an updated Ancient Power video here really soon, and I'll go over kind of all the ins and outs of Ancient Power. Um, it's been a little while since I've done one. There is a current Ancient Power video on the channel. However, people are still asking me all the questions that are in that video and asking me to go ahead and redo one more time. So let's go ahead and invoke the Ancient Power, and away we go. And I got a bow out of the deal. Very, very nice. Of course, every time you use Ancient Power, you do get one of these prestigious weapons. And let's take a look and see how that bad boy rolled. Eh, not the greatest. Uh, is a 4 per second uh, burst shot 3. I'm not sure if they're all 4 per second or if it's random there. Uh, it does come with the Searing Flame Chip, though. Plus 84,000 fire damage per second on enemies affected by piercing shot. So there we go, that is Ancient Power number 16, and I am ready to begin the climb again. As we can see here, everything is back down to campaign level. So thank you once again for watching. Click that like button, please subscribe to the channel, and I will be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. Thanks again, I'll see you next time.